In front of me here, I have Stella Pro's brand new Reflex S Lite. Not only is this the brightest battery powered LED light I have ever seen in my entire life, but it can also do this. You may be familiar with the company Light in Motion. They've been making LED lights for a very long time, mostly for video production, as well as underwater photography and videography. But they reached out to me, they wanted me to do a preview video. So this isn't a review video, it's a sponsored video, but I'm going to try to give you as many details about this light as I can. Now, as I'm filming this, this product isn't out. I don't know how much it costs. I can just imagine it's not going to be cheap, but if you're interested, check out the links in the description below. Now, this light comes in two different variations, the Reflex and the Reflex S. I have the S version here, and there are only two differences between these lights. In burst mode or the flash mode, the S version can shoot up to 20 frames per second at full power, whereas the standard reflex can only shoot at 10 frames per second, which is still insane. But if you need 20 frames per second, get the S. And the S has the ability to change the flash duration. Normally, this would pulse at 1 200th of a second, but the S lets you go all the way down to 1 1,000th of a second. Now, speaking of flash duration, this is not a flash. This does not have a flash tube in it. Instead, it's using a standard LED and it's overpowering it for a fraction of a second to get much brighter than it normally could. If you were to overpower the LED that much for an extended period of time, it would overheat, it would burn up. But by powering it just for a fraction of a second, you don't have to deal with any sort of overheating at all. So how bright is this little light? Well, when it's plugged into the battery, it can produce 6,000 lumens of light. And when you go into burst mode, it goes all the way up to 18,000 lumens, which is a stop and a half brighter. One interesting thing about this light and the way that it's powered is that this battery grip plugs into this light with a standard USB-C cable. So this allows you to plug this in with AC power into any standard USB-C cable. And if you plug it in to a 100 watt USB-C power brick, you can output 9,000 lumens with this light. So it will be one half stop brighter than what it can do from the battery alone. Now it's really difficult for me to imagine how bright 6,000 or 9,000 or 18,000 lumens is. So what I decided to do was show you an example here. This is the light at 6,000 lumens next to my iPhone's flashlight. And here's the Reflex X next to a light that we use all the time, the AC powered Felix P360. This light is insanely bright. I have never seen a battery powered light come close to this. This is 100 lumens right here. And you can keep going up and up and up and up. There's a warning on the bottom of this light that says do not look at the bulb while it's in operation. It can damage your vision and I believe it. I mean, I could just feel the heat coming off of this, especially for its size and the fact that this is battery powered. I have not seen anything like it. The controls on this light are incredibly simple. There's only two buttons, one on the battery and one on the back of the light itself. The one on the battery will turn the battery on and then the one on the back of the light presses in to turn the unit on. You can turn the knob to change the power of the constant light or the burst power. If you hold the button in for two seconds, it will jump over to the wireless mode and this lets you choose which type of remote you want to use with the system. This works both with Elencrom remotes as well as Godox remotes. I personally don't have any Elencrom remotes, but I do have some Godox remotes, so that's what I'm using today. And this lets you choose the group as well as the channel. So if you have other flashes and you wanna use this in conjunction with other flashes, you can do that. Now this light looks pretty small as it is, but this thing is totally modular. I've got this lens on the front here that can be replaced with other lenses to change the throw as well as other accessories that we'll get to in just one second. And then the battery grip just pops off as well. And like I said, it attaches with a standard USB-C cable here. So if you just needed a really small AC powered compact video light, I'm not sure anything else on the market comes close to this in terms of size or brightness. Light Motion sent over a bunch of different accessories. This is their Chimera speed ring adapter here. And it just snaps right onto the outside. We can add soft boxes to this. The lens that comes with it is a medium throw lens. This one is a 12 degree lens. And then I've also got a dome diffuser. Now the battery pack has a thread on the bottom. This has a thread on the bottom. It also has a thread on the top of the light as well. But if you want the ability to tilt the light easily on top of the light stand, you're going to need this. And this is the professional C-stand mount for Reflex. 
Now, as you can imagine, with something this small and this bright, it does produce a lot of heat. And once you reach 4,000 lumens, the fan automatically comes on. You can listen to it here. It's not incredibly loud, but at the same time, it's probably too loud for every type of video production. However, if you were shooting something like a wedding reception, there's absolutely no way the average person would be able to hear this, but it is something to keep in mind. Light Motion was also adamant that I mentioned just how durable this light is. They have become known for making completely waterproof lights. And although this one isn't completely waterproof because it has that big fan on it, it is weatherproof and it's also drop proof as well. They didn't necessarily want me to drop it on camera, but they said, this is definitely more robust than any speed light or your average LED light. All right, these lights are weatherproof. Let's test them out in the rain with a shaking dog. It's uh, out of his mind. Woo! I set two of these lights across from Patrick's dog and just shot him having fun. It was very strange shooting with a flash like this because although to my eye it is flashing, it's flashing at one two hundredth of a second rather than one ten thousandth of a second like your average speed light. And that means you don't have to worry about your maximum sync speed. You don't have to worry about going into hypersync. You can shoot at any shutter speed you want. And although the light is flashing, it's going to work just like a hot light. So you can move from one two hundredth of a second up to one four hundredth of a second and you're going to lose one stop of light just like if you were shooting with a standard constant hot light. It was raining a little bit while we were outside and of course the dog was shaking all over the camera and lights as well. Everything survived, no problem. So you might be wondering, can this replace my speed light? Could I have one light that's great for video production as well as flash photography? And the answer is probably no. The guys over at Light Motion were very honest in saying that this is not supposed to be a replacement for speed lights. It doesn't have TTL metering. It doesn't have the ability to communicate with other lights, although you can put it within the same groups and channels and everything and use it with other lights. It doesn't have the ability to communicate with the camera or other lights. It's also not nearly as bright as a standard flash tube. In my test, this firing at full power is around 1 32nd on a standard speed light. One benefit that this light has over a standard speed light is the ability to shoot at full power at 20 frames per second without overheating or running out of battery power. I personally don't need to shoot that fast, but there are some photographers who do. And if you shoot subjects that are doing things on a fraction of a second, you have to get that perfect shot this might be better than a flash for you. So who is this light for? Well, I think this is going to be wildly popular for very specific types of video and photography, especially wedding photography. I shot weddings for 15 years professionally, and towards the end of my career, I was shooting both stills and video at every single wedding that I shot. In the past, what I would have to do is set up both hot lights and speed lights around the room during the reception because it was too dark, and I wanted to get good looking video and stills. I could have two or three of these around the room, have them running nonstop for video, but then I could use them in that burst mode for pictures as well. So like a lot of the really specialized equipment that we review on this channel, this is certainly not for everyone, but if you're the type of photographer or videographer who could use something like this, you know who you are. Check it out in the link below.